The markets in China have been extremely volatile, and there's concern about a broader downturn. You know, what what are you most optimistic about, but and what gives you the most cause for concern? Well. Um, well, I am I am somewhat concerned about the you know the frothiness of, of the markets. I'd say not just in China, but but everywhere that you know we've had uh, we've had uh, this. Uh, I, I don't think the if there's a bubble today, um, I don't think the bubble is centered on technology, hmm. um, uh, neither in China nor nor in the U.S. I think um, I think bubbles are psychosocial phenomena. Um, you know, we got the public. You have to get the public involved in a in a crazy way. Um, you know, in the 90s, we had in 1999, we had 300 tech IPOs in the U.S. In 2015, there may be 15 or 20 tech IPOs, depending on how you count them. Um, so the public has not been involved in um, in the tech boom this time around. Um, a little bit more in China, not at all in the U.S. So I think there is no bubble centered on technology. Hmm. If there's a bubble. It's probably at this point centered on the zero percent interest rates, the quantitative easing, the money printing, hmm. and um, and that's a very strange one because that's one that permeates everything. So that uh, yeah, startup tech stocks may be overvalued, but so are public equities, so are houses, so are government bonds because uh, that sort of touches everything. Um, and in some ways, I, I w I've actually argued that in some ways Silicon Valley is quite far from it because if the bubble is in cash. Uh, the things that are very far from cash, say illiquid startup investments, may be actually a place to hide.